Hey guys, it's Josh. Super quick video. Um, our engineering team's been working really hard on updating the one script to rule them all, as I, I say it. We came out fast and hard last week to make sure our customers had its scripts to run against. Now we've really refined that script here, and it's updated in our blog. So if you go out to the blog, um, just go to extra blog, you're going to find the Sunburst directory, and it's going to point you over to our GitHub examples here. So essentially here, go and look at the readme, but there's two files you have to download. They have to be in the same directory, the sunburstdetect.py and the threats.json. So essentially what we've done is really refine this so that it gives you a status bar and I'll show you that in a minute. And then we're taking a look at not only the DNS queries, but also the hundreds, if not thousands of IPs that are associated with the Sunburst IOC compromise. And it really runs in a way that <clears throat> allows you to see the status because some of you guys have very big environments. And so it's going to show you the status as it's looking through devices. And it can take, you know, a long time depending on what you're looking at. The great part is any extra up customer can run this. All you have to have is your API key and the ability to, to run scripts. And so I, in my previous video, which you can find out here on my channel, right here, the threat hunting video walks you through how to set up Python and run that. So, and then this actually has the actual Python call that you have to make to be able to do that with the API key. If you're not, if you don't know how to do that, go check out my previous video. You'll be able to see exactly how to do that. If you have any problems, just reach out to me. I'll get you hooked up with your SE and we'll get you going. So it's a really, really useful um, script. So essentially, once you start to run that here, it's going to look like this. And it's going to start to gather your metrics. So my lab has been doing this for 10 or 15 minutes. Yours, it could take, you know, 15, 30 minutes, an hour, or even a couple hours, depending on how big you are. And then it's going to output to an output file that's called, I believe it's uh, output.csv. And it's going to show you the match and the indicators here. So it's it, once it's done, you're going to have those outputs. And it's going to indicate that also in the actual script as you go through it here. All right. So make sure you have the latest script. Go out to the blog and then make sure you're um, saving this one here to click Sunburst. And then um, use the Git here to grab the latest script, right? If you're if you're a, a seasoned Git person, you probably don't even need to look at this video. If you're not, then you can just go in here and kind of do it the old school way. And you find my old, <clears throat> you find my other videos. You can just copy this, make it into a file on your desktop, grab the threats.json as well, and then you can follow my other video to basically perform the actual um, Python three script executable, which we have right here. So it's a little bit more step by step on my other video, and it tells you exactly how to do that if you're not comfortable with it. But now we have this single script that goes out and does the DNS and the IP queries, and we're going to consistently update this for you. So as you start to run it or rerun it to be able to check for this, because this is a constant moving thing. This has only been about a week since this has been out, right? So um, this is only going to be more update. And what's nice is this goes all the way back to July 31st, and so it's really going to scrub and just take a look. Have you been, ever communicated with those? And that'll let you know. It, do I need to be concerned about the versions of SolarWinds I was writing in my environment? Hope this is helpful. Thanks, guys.